Great news, everyone! <laughs> Great news, my friends. The next Crystal Star is in Poshley Heights. What? Wait a tick. I've heard tell that only the rich and famous call that place home. Yes, yes, and I'm fairly sure there's also a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either. It's just a tourist attraction. Humph, <laughs> sounds positively s Sin... What? Scintillating? Scintillating? Scintillating, dear boy. Point us there. That's the best part. You ride the most famous train of all, the Excess Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star will be yours. Getting those Crystal Stars has been back-breaking work, but this time will be a cinch. Pardon me for saying so, but mustn't you have wealth or fame to ride that train? Oh, um, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pion to help with this too. Ah, so we gotta go back and talk to Don Pionta. So, let's go ahead and let's take care of this. We got Cortez in here, Lord Crump, and it basically finishes off of that. Um, but first, actually, what I want to do is come over to the Trouble Center real quick, because I want to take care of Zesty's trouble. Alright, Zesty. Seeking legendary... Yep, let's take it on. Alright. And I will see you guys at Zesty's. Alright, and here we go. So let's speak to ZST in here. Alright, ZST. Alright. Yep. Let's give her the book. Alright. So now we should be able to cook two items. No. Come on. Did you find that cookbook? Yes. Give her the cookbook. Alright. And she'll whip us up a little something. I swear, this looks so much better in the remaster. <laughs> but it's not bad here either, I mean. Alright. So she gives us that. Um, let's get rid of the slow shrooms. Like kind of really don't need it. Yes. want you to cook up the Ultra Shroom and the Jelly, Jam and Jelly. Because this will give me my most favorite item in the game, and the best healing item in the game. Jelly Ultra. So yes. Alright. And then next, what we'll have to do is um, we're going to have to find something for Merlin, because he's going to be asking us to. Alright. Anyways, here we go. Got the oh, Jelly Ultra. Anyways, I'm going to meet you back at Merlin. Alright, here we are. So let's talk to Merlin. Oh, what's impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a portionist sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair. Near the empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. Alright. So basically where we have to go is Hotel Castle. So yep, I will see you guys there. Alright, and I'm back. <laughs> so, basically, open this chest and you'll get the uh, up arrow, which is what Merlin's been looking for. If you can see, it is in this spike room here, if you remember from the first area. But now that we have... If you remember that crack from before, we have Bobbery that could blow up now, so that's that. So I will see you guys back in Rogueport. You know, maybe one more thing I should show off here. Uh, blow this up, and uh, you remember Shet Rippo from the first game, or as he's known, or well, translate his name and basically cheap ripoff. Uh, he reappears in this game, so yes, this is it's basically he'll adjust one of your, you or your partner, just one of pretty sure you or your partner's ranks yeah except when he does it'll take away from another one of your ranks so I don't use him as I said in the first game uh, but yeah he's there so uh, let's go on back up to Rogueport <laughs>
Come on. This game is so slow. But anyways, now that we have the up arrow, we're going to come in and take and bring it to Merlin. Hmm. And basically what this will do is it'll allow us to... Or, well, first we got to watch him go up to his attic. <laughs> and it drops that crystal ball. The Ultra Stone. If we remember from the first game, that allowed us to upgrade our partners twice. And so now that's what we can do here. So let's do it. Alright, so I took the courtesy of upgrading Miss Mouse, Bobbery, and Vivian. So yeah, these will be... Well, these two are the main ones that you really want to upgrade fully. But uh, anyways, let's make our way to where we need to go next. Alright, so where we need to go is in here, because we need to speak to Don Pianta. Oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Oh, and the boss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's the syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves stealing jobs from us right and left. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for you? What? Tickets for the rich, richest train around? For the Excess Express? Whoa, you want tickets for dead rolling, wing dig? Wing ding? Oh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, it's giving out tickets, that's rich. You got to talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If we just knew where those snooty lids was, we could take the boss to see them. You mean that cutie Frankie and that darling Francesca that they were on Key Hall Key? Who's on the what now? You say, what did you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Pianta is at? Really? No lie. I swear to you, if you're lying, I will turn you into confetti, so help me. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We'd go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Alright. So, take a hike, bub. Anyways, they'll give us our tickets if we go get uh, Francesca and Frankie back. So, I will see you guys on Kiyoki. Alright, and so here is where we will find them. Let's talk to Francesca. Oh, hi there, Mari. What brings you back here? Can we do something for you? What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no, no. At no, a no, time like this. You see, I, I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring, otherwise something may eat it. it must be around. It must be somewhere here between, between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. <laughs> Shouldn't we forget about the ring for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore. Is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you, a girl really loves to be called a bacon burger. <laughs> None of your sweet talk now. You're going to have to say you love me a hundred times. One hundred times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. He keeps calling her food. Now, please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Oh, fine, you crazy dame. Jesus Christ, I can feel that. Oh, there I said it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> My little cream puff. Alright. Yeah. Anyways, I know what the ring is, so I'll just cut to it. Alright. Here it is. So let's go take it back to Francesca and Frankie. Alright. Let's give them the wedding ring. 
Now we can go home to daddy. <laughs> Cheese and cracker. <laughs> Keeps calling her food. Anyways, I will meet you guys back in Roveport at Don Picantos. Alright. Okay, Mario, I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Roveport. Oh, daddy, please hang on until we get there. Alright. Let's talk to Cortez here. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go faster. Speech. <laughs> like, seriously. At least we could skip that. It's that I like. Uh, but anyways. Come on. We have to go see Daddy immediately. Alright, so they're gonna run off. And we can see them run off up there. So, let's go Don Piantis. Alright, and here we are. Daddy, 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 wake up! Open your eyes! Boss! Hmm. Oh. Francesca? Daddy! Boss! Oh, my little Francesca. You came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now, I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. Oh, he's gonna retire. No, it's time. I mean it. I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the, the new head of the, 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 the Pianta Syndicate. What? But, but, boss, you still got it in you. You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And, I mean, me, boss? Alright, so... Yes, you, Mario. It looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah, uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful. I know it. What did you guys do? Well, uh, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we'd get him a tr ticket for the XS Express if he brought your daughter. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. is that all? You had me worried there for a sec. Come on over here, Mario. How many you want? One, two, ten. Help yourself. All right. So we get the train ticket, and all right, and he will be heading out. So you're the boss now, Frankie. He'll be heading out. But don't worry, I'm pretty sure you can find him in the Pianta parlor. So, anyways, sweet bean <laughs> keeps calling our food or Miss Boss, uh, under boss or I mean boss. You got our loyalty. All right. And she'll basically have him wrapped around her little finger. So, anyways. Come on. Let's make our way. Let's make our way out. Let's make our way. Well, I think that pretty much does it for this episode. I mean, you know, so. Next time on Paint Mario Thousand Door, we'll be heading out for the Excess Express. Let's go to Poshley Heights. <laughs> I heard that, my uglies. And... That voice sounds familiar. So the six crystal stars in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. It's Beldum. Hey, you're that Beldum. Normally this would be where I finally deal with you and that homely traitor Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise. So you live for now. Instead I'll just beat you to Poshley Heights and get that crystal star before you do. <laughs> All right. So um, next time, Paint Mario Thousand Year Door will be heading out to Poshley Heights. So uh, like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications for want to be notified when I post. Now this video, be sure to check out our parts in the next one, and I will see you guys later.